Hello folks, um, Craig here again from uh, Florida Cracker Guitar Tips and I'm uh, going to show you a song that uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos on it, a lot of lessons and everything and it's a beautiful song, I love it. It's a Blind Face, uh, Blind Faiths, I Can't Find My Way Back Home. So. Uh, I kind of kick it off in D and then I land on C and kind of do some walking down. But I'm going to introduce a little classical uh, guitar in it. I, I, I took a couple uh, semesters of classical music in college. And uh, so I'll give this a try, see how it works, and I'll try to walk you through it. And it, uh, you know, maybe Steve Winwood will play it someday, you know. Uh, it, it just kind of has that. Uh, kind of that classical feel to it when you play it. So anyway, I'm kind of doing, uh, you know, I've got my thumb pick, which, you know, you don't have to have, and uh, I kind of use the back of my my fingernails and uh, to kind of smack the string. So I'm just playing in D right now and just kind of hammering on the A from A to the C, and then I hit the uh, D string and hit F and I kind of bend it a little bit, give it a little bit of a bluesy kind of sound. Now in a previous le lesson I was showing you uh, I'm downstroking and as I'm lifting my hand, my fingernail and my middle finger is plucking the B string. And it just kind of, as you lift your hand, just, you know, leave a little fingernail on there. And as you come up, you get a little extra note in there kind of quickly. And people think you're, you're uh, you know, doing some kind of trick or something. I don't know. You got that train rhythm going. So this is not really what I want to show you. This is not the lesson. The lesson is I'm going to jump up here to the C on the E string. And that is the riff I'm going to show in this hopefully uh, short uh, video uh, instruction. So basically, pointer finger and pinky. That's it. And there's a little bit of a transition in here, but I'm kind of running up to the C string and then going up to the, I'm on the B string with my pinky at the 10th fret. And using some open strings in the middle there. So I'm kind of walking the pinky, lifting off, landing in my middle finger, and then going to the D string at the 10th fret. walk down a half step on the uh, E string and I kind of move my whole hand to land on kind of a D minor on a D minor kind of shape here so my uh, middle finger is on the uh, sixth fret and my ring finger lands on the seventh fret on the on the G string so I'll kind of try to walk through that again it's just something I kind of sat down and listened to the song and I thought, what a great, what a great song. And it just lended itself to this kind of riff. I kind of resolved down to the D with kind of a smack at the end of it. Okay, so uh, pointer finger at the C note on the E string, the bottom E string, 
and pinky on the uh, B string at the 10th fret. So I'm kind of kind of landing on my middle finger, you know, pinky to middle finger. It kind of feels, you know, it kind of feels natural. And then I go down a half step on the bass note. And I am on the B string here at the 8th fret. And then I move my whole hand, which is the 6th uh, fret on the B string. And the... Uh, Sixth, seventh, seventh fret on the uh, D string, which is kind of your A minor. And I kind of wiggle the notes a little bit to give it a little vibrato. And then I go uh, another half step down from the B to an A sharp or B flat here and land kind of. The uh, uh, you know the, I got my middle finger and my ring finger uh, on the uh, sixth fret. Middle finger is on the E string, and my ring finger is on the B string. Let's see here. I have to run through it here. So it's kind of a walking my ring finger down to my pointer finger to the fifth fret while keeping the bass note the same. And then it resolves, resolves to that D. So let's see here. I'll do it one more time, kind of slow here. And I'm just up picking. So just that, kind of that, using these two fingers, throw your middle in there, with the pinky jumping up to the, to the uh, G string. That's kind of most of the song. It doesn't cover the uh, the middle part or the uh, uh, chorus part, but um, that's not the purpose of this. I just kind of wanted to show this little classical kind of riff. One more time. Thank you all for your patience, and if you have any questions, uh, write me something, and I'll get back with you. Thank you all very much, and uh, keep playing.